today I have done this cut crease look and it is a little bit different. So it is a very unique looking cut crease. So if you want to find out how to get this look, just keep watching. I'm Mandy. For those of you who are new, this is the channel where we learn new techniques, tips, and just everything in between. Welcome to the video. So guys, I guess you've seen my subs. I have made it over a thousand. Now, of course, my watch time hours still ain't there yet, but I'm not that worried about me. I am, however, trying to get a bunch of my fellow YouTubers up above their marks so let's keep the movement going guys make sure you watch the video to the small youtuber movement and just keep helping each other out it is so beautiful and i'm so happy that everybody is still doing it everybody still got each other's backs and i absolutely love it i think this is such a beautiful community i love you guys i love every one of you thank you so much to all my new subbies thank you so much for all my old ones that's been there for day from day one i just absolutely i cannot tell y'all how much i just appreciate everything that y'all do y'all watch my videos even though i'm boring until y'all let me talk your ears off and everything else and I love y'all for that. I'm watching everybody's videos. I'm trying to build up y'all's watch times too. Make sure you're watching playlists and doing all that other stuff that is in the movement. There are so many ways now that everybody is helping each other out. There are so many different ways now. It is crazy what people has thought of to help out small YouTube channels and I absolutely love it. Of course, I done a cut crease. I I know I said I wasn't going to do a video today, but first of all, I'm a makeup freak and I couldn't leave it off in my face. So I went ahead because I did hit that thousand mark subscribers and I wanted to do something. So I did this cut crease and it is a very unique looking cut crease. So I absolutely loved it. I had fun with it and it came out beautiful and it's very easy for beginners. So guys, let's just go ahead and get in to the tutorial. Alright glow tarts, are y'all ready for this one? We're going to start off, this palette was only a dollar a dollar general, it's the LA Colors Smoky Palette and I'm going to use the white frosty shade in there to use for my brow bone highlights and of course you know I do this the same way every time. Now we are going to take Creamsicle in the Jaclyn Hill Palette. This is what we're going to be using for our transition color. And I'm going to focus a lot of this out there on that outer V. Now this cut crease that I'm doing, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call it. Whether it be like an open cut crease or, or something. Not unless there's already a name for it and I just don't know it. Now this little palette, I absolutely love this palette. This is Profusion. Now this is a six pan palette and they do have, I think, four or five different ones. I absolutely love these. These are only $3 and they are just wonderful. They blend beautifully. They are very pigmented and the color choices in every one of these palettes are just awesome. Now we're going to use this to cut our line. Well, not cut our line because we haven't even got to the to the cut crease yet on the lid we are going to use this to kind of just trace out our line that we are going to cut and I am going to take a couple of more colors because I'm trying to get that gradient look from dark to light browns so I think I use about three different colors for this line right here and every time I place one I always blend it out I use a one of my pencil brushes with a sharp tip that way I could go ahead in and blend it and it it doesn't really diffuse the line that much it does keep a quite a sharp line as you can see I'm doing here now if you notice I am just blending like right in my crease because I do want that winged out line on the outer corner I want that to stay sharp okay now we are going to take this shade out of the Tarte Tarte Lip Palette 
and this is the shade dreamer i just absolutely love this color it is a nice medium chocolatey brown color i love it and it is just a little bit darker than the color we used before and like i said we're going to lay this in the same same exact path as the other one that I laid. I just want that gradient from light to dark browns and I use three different color browns for this. And like I said, when you do go to blend that out, make sure you just do it in your crease and kind of let's leave that line on the outside, the winged outline. We're going to kind of want to leave that sharpened. And again, here is where I'm taking the pencil brush and blending this color out. Okay, now this color is Bombshell, and this is in the Tarte Tartlet palette also. This is a very dark brown, but it does have like purple undertones. It's just, just a beautiful color, and this is going to be our darkest shade. And again, we are laying it in the same exact spot. We're going to do the same exact thing with this. And you will tell at the end, it ju it's just leaves a beautiful, flawless look to this line. And of course, I did grab a smaller brush to blend this one out because I didn't want to blend this out and diffuse it all the way. And I am just using the back and forth motion. I'm not doing any circular motions except for the transition shade. That's the only one that I use circular motions for. So the rest of it, when you're blending, it's just back and forth. This is the Makeup Revolution. Now, this is my color correction palette, and it does have this nice yellow tone concealer shade in it. That's what I'm using to cut the lid out with today. And of course, I'm going to take this all the way to the outer corner, but I am not going to flick it up on the wing right there. And I do have tape on my eyes. I did forget to tell you that. I do have that tape laid down, so that line is going to be nice and crisp after the look is done. And if you could tell, this is kind of winged out a lot more than average. Now, this is a shimmering topaz. This is an Ulta cream. Uh, it's a cream eyeshadow from Ulta. I absolutely love this color. It is just a beautiful, it's, it's like a champagne color with gold undertone. It's just so beautiful. And I'll lay this right on top of the concealer. And I'm not really putting it in one spot. And now back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the shade Obsessed, and I can see why Jaclyn named this shade this. This is almost the same exact shade as the Ulta Cream color that I used. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to go back in with Cream Sick, and we're just going to dip the tip of a pencil brush in it. And we are trying to get that exact line. We want it kind of precise, so we're just going above that crease line. And of course, we are just blending right there in the crease, and we want to keep that outer flick kind of sharp. And of course, the most satisfying moment of the whole look is taking the tape off. Now back in with the shade Bombshell in the Tarte palette. Now, this one we're going to use to tight line on our lower lash line. So, we're just going to kind of stamp that color on there. And I didn't take it all the way on the outer or the inner corner of the eye. I just sort of left it in the middle. And now, back in with Cream Sick on a little bit bigger pencil brush, we are going to take this to kind of blend that and diffuse that line out just a little bit on the lower lash line. And then, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette, the shade Beam. This is one of my favorite inner corner highlights. And, of course, I had to use it for this look because of the lighter shade on the lid. But I just think it come out gorgeous. And now I just sort of loaded it on in there just like there's headlights on. Now, this is my Cargo. This is just a black eyeliner pencil. I absolutely love it. This is one of the most creamiest pencils you've ever felt in your life. And I'm going to get the upper lash line and that outer corner right there. Now, this is the NYX, the Faux Blacks pencil. And I think the shade is Midnight. It's a very dark blue. I want to use this for the lower lash line just to give it a little bit more color. 
and of course we're curling our lashes and this is the miss manga voluminous mascara this is one of my favorites you do not need falsies with this this is one of my all-time favorites i have never had to put on a pair of lashes with this mascara And of course, guys, this is the finished look. If you could tell, it just elongates your eyes. It just gives your eyes a whole brand new shape. I absolutely love this look. And like I said, I don't know exactly what we're going to call it. If it even has a name, it might already have a name. But I'm wanting to call it an open cut crease. I'm not sure. And guys, thanks again for getting me to a thousand subs. I love y'all. And guys, that is it for this video. This is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was easy enough for beginners to pick up and do it no problem. I hope y'all try this one out because even though and it really bugs me, a lot of times when I see something like this and you don't do the actual wing to meet it, but I think it come out beautiful. I absolutely, you know, you don't never know if you're going to like it until you try it. So I do. I love this look and I think it elongates your eyes. I think it just makes your eyes look so beautiful, especially for hood eyes like I've got or deep set eyes, hooded eyes. I think I got a little bit of both. If it's the same thing, who knows? Anyways, guys, don't forget the movement video is linked in my description box below. Go and watch that. Check it out and help out some small YouTube channels, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to mine and become part of the Glow Torque family. I love y'all and I'll see you next video. Bye.